All right, folks, we're back here at the Grand Hotel. We've got quite the lineup going on here. WindQuest is falling behind 3.1 knots. Erette is doing 3.3. So the wind is dying as they're getting closer to the start here. Um, let's see, Il Mostro. Ooh, Il Mostro's got some speed on. They're doing 4.3 knots. And then we've got Roxy leading the cruising division at 2.9 knots. Infinite Diversion is just getting kicked out the back end here. However, they do have speed on their side, so I wonder if the wind is filling in from the back. And maybe they can just pass over. If, with a boat like in, Infinite Diversion, you cannot stop. They have got to ride that momentum out, otherwise they will stall. Carly, what do you see going on here? I see it turning into a real nail-biter, Morgan. That is, every little fraction of a knot counts, I think, in getting these boats across the finish line and comparing with one another. It just goes to show that you can have a lead, but it's all in a little bit of luck, honestly, with the wind and having that and reading those predictions right. And honestly, these people are not going to sleep tonight. They've mm -hmm. got only 30, less than 36 miles to go. I don't think anybody's going down below to sleep unless they're stacking sails or cooking, making some coffee for the rest of the crew because this is really going to be a treat. I'm really hoping this wind doesn't die. I know wind, or uh, not wind, uh, Chris Bedford just posted his latest weather update, so we'll definitely shoot you a link to that. Mm -hmm. So I guess we stay tuned. We'll be on the dock to go speak with the first boat to land here on Mackinac Island or at least we'll be doing a live update for those who are participating in the Supermac. And also, if you're as anxious as we are, just know that everyone here on the island cannot wait for the boat to get here. It's been a very slow race this year, so stay tuned with us. We'll be at the dock soon, hopefully.